Once we've calculated the number out required for our job, we can use that value to calculate the total number of sheets needed. Again, this should be review, but the formula for calculating the number of sheets needed is the quantity that you're trying to produce. So in our case, we're producing postcards and divide it by the number out per sheet, which we calculated to be 21. So if we take our original example, we're printing 1,500,000 postcards. We can get 21 out per sheet. 1,500,000 divided by 21 out per sheet equals 71,428.5714 sheets. We always round the number of sheets up to the next whole number, no matter what it is, because if we were to purchase 71,428 sheets, we would be short on our overall quantity. We may only be able to print 1,000,000. 499,980 postcards instead of the 1,500,000 that we need. So in this case, we would purchase 71,429 sheets of paper. We'll end up with a few extra postcards, but at least we won't be short. Okay, so now this is the new uh, math formula for costing press impressions. So the first two you should already know. We've done that three or four times already. But once we have the number of sheets, we can figure out the number of impressions needed to print a job. In our case, we've decided that an impression means a sheet of paper goes through the press. So we're going to multiply the number of sheets required for a job by either one or two. If we're only printing one side of the sheet of paper, we'll multiply by one. If we're printing two, we'll multiply by two. So let's take a look at our original example. I've given you more information this time. We're printing 1,500,000 postcards. The job prints 4 over 1. Um, I've identified that as CMYK over black, or CMYK on the front of the sheet and black on the back. We've already, already determined that the postcards will print 21 out on 71,429 sheets of paper. So in order to calculate the press impressions, we'll take the number of sheets of paper, which is 71,429, and multiply it by either 1 or 2. And in this case, we're going to multiply it by 2 because we print on the front of the sheet and the back of the sheet. It doesn't matter how many colors I print on the front or how many I print on the back. It's either going to be 1 or 2. It wouldn't be times 4 or times 5 because I don't care if we're printing 4 inks, 3 inks, 5 inks, 1 ink on the front. All I care is that the front is being printed and the back is being printed. So for our example here, 71,429 multiplied by two sides of the sheet of paper would equal 142,858 press impressions.